I'm going to turn a PC power supply into something that looks like this. So this is the power supply that I'm going to be upcycling in the repurposing, recycling, upcycling project. It's a PC power supply. I've cut off the other cables internally, so it's just got the main power connector on it. It's going to sit in this chassis which has room for these three meters. There's three uh, volt meters and that include ammeters. So there's uh, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. Now the, the breakout card for the big power connector also has minus 12 volts and the standby power and so on, but uh, I only have room for three meters, so I'm just using that. There's going to be a power switch over here. There's going to be a um, binding post down here. There's a, the three sets of binding posts for the power supply. The power supply will sit in this chassis like this. Uh, there's a back piece that goes on the back to um, complete the, uh, the back panel. There is a lid which will have the breakout card on it. So this is the, bre the breakout card. It has the big connector and it actually has five or six USB power um, connectors on it as well as the barrier strip with the uh, main voltages. So it's going to sit on top of the lid so the cable has to come up and go under this channel and around and connect into the back of this connector. And then on top of that we have the lid for the power supply. This um, breakout card is mounted on spacers which actually um, cover off of the the edge of the circuit board as well as keep the through hole pins from um, hitting the surface of the bracket here. There's a couple of other brackets. So there's one uh, little protector here that goes uh, on this front lip so that the cable that has to come up and around doesn't get uh, chafed and cut by this metal edge. And then there's a, a cable control bracket that goes under here to keep the uh, that big power cable out of the way from all the front panel wiring, which is going to be behind the meters. So I'm going to start putting that together. I think I can put the power supply onto the lid with this thing as a complete separate unit before right wiring up the front panel with all the meters. So, let's uh, start doing that. Just screwing on the back panel here. And I need to screw on this guy. There's quite a few screws in this system. I'm just going to put the two back screws on because the other two screws have to hold the cable control stuff. Okay, so 
So this cable is going to go through the back here, underneath. Like that, and all right. Let me take the power supply out of the frame so we can have a little more room to work on it here. Maybe I'll just plug that in so that it's in the right position. Okay. There we go, snapped in place. So now we want to put our little protector here. I, don't know, I guess you can't see that. Um, and our cable control bracket here. So let me fight with the screws, get that in place. Okay, we can see how the cable control bracket works. Keeps that cable tight in here. And we'll have plenty of room in here to mount the, uh, the, the wiring for the, the meters. So I'll, I want to mount, um, wire up this whole front panel. And then the only thing to connect up is the terminal strip up here. So this is a completely separate part of it and we can wire up the front panel independently. So let me do that. Here's a quick look at the wiring just to show that the front panel is all wired up and there's a bunch of wires coming up to the barrier strip on the power supply. So the, the front panel is all wired up. You get the three meters, the three binding posts, the power switch, and it's all wired up in the back. These are the wires that connect to the barrier strip on the main power supply. And we'll see how that goes. So just before I hook up the barrier strip, I better check that the power supply actually works. So I plug in power turn it on and I don't know if you can see that but the standby LED is on and if I hit the power button all LEDs come on 3.3 volts 5 volts uh, minus 12 volts and plus 12 volts so the power supply appears to be working I'll just check it with my voltmeter We've got ground, 3.4 volts, 5 volts on the standby, 0 for ground, 5.1 on the 5 volt supply, minus 10.7 on the minus 12 volts, 0 on the ground, and the final one is 11.9 on the 12 volt supply. So working. Now I just have to connect up the meters on the front so let's do that. Okay I've hooked up all of the connections to the front. Let's see the, if there's power. Okay good so unfortunately that's flickering on the camera because of the synchronization of the multiplexed LEDs but this is saying 3.4 volts 0 amps 5.1 volts 0 amps 11.8 volts 0 amps so working great but um, I still have to put on the lid so let's do that okay it's all together lids on Have to, there's a power switch on the back. We have to turn that on before we can turn on the main power. And it's working perfectly. So it's got a PCPS 
PC power supply. There's the power switch. And it has these six USB ports for charging. Three on either side. So, not exactly your classic power supply shape, but it, uh, it looks pretty good from the front. And here's what it looks like on the turntable from all angles. So we have repurposed and upscaled the PC power supply into a full bench power supply. This will be handy when I need computer voltages at high current. Great. Here's a still shot to get a better view of the displays.